What's going on guys, this is Jake, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can create product bundles inside of your Shopify store. So with that said, let's go ahead and jump right into the computer and get started with the video. All right guys, so in order to get started creating bundles on our Shopify store, we're going to need to install an app that allows us to do so. So we're going to be using simple bundles and kits in the Shopify app store, and you can navigate to this app by clicking the first link in the description down below. And then once you get to this page here, you can just click on add app and we'll get started. So once you've installed the app on your store and you open it up, this is what it's going to look like here in the dashboard. And this app is pretty simple to use and I'm gonna walk you through how to set up a couple different bundles in this video. So in order to get started, we'll just click on build bundle here in the top right. We'll see here that before we build the bundle, we need to create a product in Shopify that's going to represent the bundle itself. So for this demo store I'm using here, we can see we have three products on here. So we have a skin toner, moisturizer, and cleanser, and these are all facial care products. So it would be good to bundle these three together into one bundle option where a customer can buy all three of these potentially at a discount. So we're going to create a bundle for these three products right here. So if we come back into our store and we'll just open up products right here, we'll take a look at our products and you would just click on add new product. In this case, I do have a product created already, but it's just set as a draft. So if we open it up right here, we can see that we have the three in one facial care bundle, which as we can see from the picture here, it's just all three of these products here in one. And you don't need to set the price in here because we're going to do that inside of the app. And you can just set up your SKU and select track quantity. And then once you've done that, we can go ahead and change this to active and click on save. So now we're going to come back into the app and then click on build bundle. And then we're going to select the product we want to use as the bundle product here click on add and we can see that now we can go ahead and edit the bundle details so now we can go ahead and add products to this bundle by clicking on add products right here and we're going to go ahead and add in the cleanser moisturizer and toner and click on add and then we can see here that it's going to sync the quantity in stock that we have for each one of these individual products for the bundle. So we can see that we're going to be updating the bundle inventory to nine inside of Shopify. And that's because it's going to be based off of the lowest stock value of each product in the bundle. So we can see here that the cleanser only has nine in stock. So there's only going to be nine bundles in stock. And this stock is going to update based on the stock of the individual products inside of the bundle. So now we can go ahead and make a bundle price here so we can see that the bundle value in total is our price is added up is $38.97 so we could provide a discount for example and price it at something like $32.99 so we can see that that is giving the customer a 15.3 percent discount right there and we see we have two boxes down here we can use so the first one is if you want to have your price automatically adjust based on the price of the bundle contents, you can click this. You can see it switches to $38.97 and we can see that it's locked in. So if I were to change one of these prices, this price would change. So if you always want your bundle to be the cumulative value of the individual products inside of the bundle, you can choose this. But we'll uncheck that and go back to our discount. And you can also choose to update the bundle compare at price in Shopify to the value. So if you want to show that this bundle is selling at a discount, you can go ahead and check this right here, which is probably a good idea. So that way the customer knows that they are getting a 15% discount by purchasing the bundle instead of purchasing the individual products by themselves. So once we do that, all we have to do is click on save and that's it. And this bundle is good to go. And if we click on view product in Shopify here, we'll see that if we scroll down, we can see that this product has updated. We can see the amount in stock is updated to nine and we can see the price and the compare at price has been set. And if I were to click on 
preview here and we can take a look at it in the actual store. We can see that it's selling for $32.99 and it is on sale. And if I were to add it to cart, we can see that it would show up in the cart per usual. And if I go ahead and check out, we can see that it's going to look the same. And I'm going to go ahead and fill out this order real quick and we'll see, take a look at what it looks like on the back end. So I went ahead and placed the demo order and now we can take a look at what it will actually look like inside of your orders tab. So we can see that it's going to show all four of the SKUs, but the three individual products that are inside of the bundle are going to be priced at $0 each and essentially have a 100% discount applied while the bundle product itself is just going to be the price that we set. So this is how it's going to look inside of fulfillment. And that's the most common way to create a bundle inside of a Shopify store using this single price bundle option. Now, if you want to create a variation of this, you can use the separately priced items option. So if I were to switch this bundle type over here to separately priced items, we can see that what it's going to do is it's going to be syncing the bundle price based on the product in the bundle automatically. And what it's going to do instead is instead of these going through as zero dollars each, each one of these products is going to go through individually at their normal price. So I'll go ahead and click save. And what I'll do is I will come back to the store and we will place another demo order. So we can see now this product price has changed to the bundle total. And I'll place another demo order and we'll see what it looks like. So I went ahead and created another test order and we can see that now inside of the orders tab, it's going to look a little bit different. So we can see here that we have the items to fulfill, which are the three individual products that are inside of the bundle. And we can see that they went through with their individual prices right here. And the bundle product itself essentially just acted as a placeholder and it was removed from the actual order in terms of fulfillment. So choosing between the single price and the separately priced items is going to be personal preference depending on how you want your tracking and analytics to look. However, in the majority of cases, most people are going to be using the single price bundle right here with our original options. So I'll go ahead and change it back to that and now we'll take a look at the next option, which is going to be the infinite options bundle. And this is a more unique type of bundle where you can actually allow customers to create their own bundle. So if you have a couple different products with different options, you can allow the customer to essentially create their own bundle. And that's what we're going to do now. So if we open up products, what I'm going to do is this time we're going to use this t-shirt product and this hat product here. So this hat product has two different variants, which is just going to be two different colors. And we can see that this t-shirt has nine different variants. So it's going to be three different colors and three different sizes. So we're going to keep this up for reference because you're going to need to know the variants you have while creating this. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back and we're going to need to create another bundle product for this. So if we come over here, we're just going to need to add another new product. So I'll go ahead and create one real quick. So we've went ahead and created the product that we're going to use for this bundle. So the shirt and hat bundle. So once again, you just won't need to set the price and you'll just set up the track quantity and choose your SKU and go ahead and publish it. And then we will come back over here, click on build bundle, select the shirt and hat, click on add. And then we're going to change this to an infinite options bundle here. And we can see that we're going to have to edit our theme preferences, which we will do after we set all of this up. So the first thing we're going to do is take a look at the option groups. So you can think of the option group as a whole as essentially the product. And then we have the option name, which is going to be the actual option being selected. So like size, color, etc. And then we have the actual option values, which is the third layer, which is going to be the actual values. So the actual colors or the sizes. So we can start off. So we'll make option group one will be the hat. So we'll just do the first option itself will be hat color. And then we can assign the values here. So if we go to our product, we see we have black and red. So we would want to include both of those in here separated by commas. And then we would add another option group and this is going to represent our shirt 
So you would want to make sure you go and open the shirt product so that way we can take a look at the different variations we have. So we can see we have three different sizes, small, medium, large, and three different colors, black, red, and berries. So we'd want to add all of these in. So we'd start off with the size, so small, medium, large, and then we would add an additional option. And this would be the color which would be black, red, and berry. And if you have additional options, so there's really no limit to this. So if you have additional options besides size and color, you can always just add another one and throw that in here as well. So just remember the option group is the product itself. The option name is what characteristic of the product is being selected. And the option values are the actual specific options that are being selected by the customer. So once we've set this up, we can click on continue to add products. And now we just have to add different products that associate with our different options that we set up right here now before we do that we can click on preview bundle options right here and we can see that this is what it's going to look like on our product page so we have hat color we can see black and red and then we have t-shirt size small medium large and then we have t-shirt color black red or berry so if that looks good we're gonna go ahead and assign our products by clicking on add product here so this hat is going to be the black one so we will click on add and then we will click on add for the red one right here as well and I'm going to go ahead and add these options as well and once we've added all of our options we just need to click on save so this bundle has been all set up but if we were to actually view this product in Shopify here and then we were to click on preview we'll notice that it's actually not showing up yet and that's because we actually have to enable something extra inside of our theme so we're gonna go ahead and go back and we're gonna come down here to preferences and you're gonna scroll down to theme preferences here and we're going to have to enable the infinite options bundle on our theme in order to actually see it so if we click on edit here we just need to choose whether we are using an online store 1.0 or 2.0 theme. So we'll click on 2.0 and then we just need to select the theme that we are using here. So in this case we're using refresh. And once we select our theme here we just need to click on customize theme and it's going to open this up. And it's going to take us to our default product page here and all we have to do is click on add block and click on bundles infinite options. We're going to add that in and we can see that it's showing up right here so we will just drag it up and you can choose to display this wherever you want in this case we will display it right below the price and right on top of the quantity selector and then we'll click on save and then we'll come back to our product once again and we will preview it again you can see our bundle is showing up right here we can select different options and we can see one thing we did forget to do is actually set the price so if we come back in here and go to our bundles and open up this bundle we can set the price of this bundle right here so let's say we will just make it $15 click on save if we come back here and refresh we'll see that it's now showing $15 so let's go ahead and add this one the cart so we'll just go through choose these colors add the cart and we can see that our different options are going to be showing up in the actual cart. So hat color, t-shirt size, and t-shirt color. And we'll click on checkout. And I'll go ahead and show you what this order looks like after completion. So this is what our order would look like. We can see the shirt and hat bundle was purchased for $15. And we can see that just like the single price bundle, the individual products in the bundle are going to show up in here with a 100% discount applied. So that's how we can create different bundles inside of Simple Bundles. It's very easy to use. If we go back to our dashboard, we can take a look at all of our bundles right here, as well as the total bundle earnings. So there's other different types of bundles you can create as well, but we're not going to cover every single one in this video because there's a lot of different options. However, if we take a look at some of these bundles examples here, you can see that you can create things like buy one, get one free bundles, mix and match, mystery boxes, subscriptions, etc. And you can just click on any of these different ones 
to take a look at examples of how to actually create these individual bundles. And the creation process is all very similar to what we just walked through. And it's all very simple and easy. So that's how you can create product bundles for your Shopify store. So be sure to check out Simple Bundles and Kits by clicking the first link in the description down below. And with that said, if you did enjoy this video, be sure to leave it a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel for more videos, and I'll see you guys in the next one.